Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing real good. Well, I was just going to do um, a 10 by 10 here, a straight ring pour. I was going to do a little bit of wandering. But uh, I was going to show some people how I attach my sticks. Um, when I first started painting, which was about a year and four months ago, um, I had arthritis in my hands. You know, that's what it was. And holding on to canvases just seemed to be awkward, feeling tight on my fingers and stuff. Hi, Tofu baby. Hi, honey bunny. I'll be right with you. Oh, isn't that sweet? The way she talks to me. Um, so I started using the sticks. I thought, well, how can I hold on to these canvases? And I was using, doing 16 by 20s a lot. You know, so it wasn't just the tiny ones. So my doctor gave me medication. My hands are doing a lot better now, but I'm so used to them now. <laughs> it's kind of hard to steer away from. Kiki, just wait a minute, honey bunny. So what I do is I take my used sticks, and I'm showing some people that ask me about them, okay? And I will just take the back of my canvas that got wet because of my trays. And just put them right here. Don't have to be long. Just a little bit, something to hang on to. I'm just so used to them. And it stops your fingers from smudging your canvas too. I can't believe I just got this dirty already just sitting here. Okay, so then you want to make sure you don't do it on top of the staple. You know, go above it or underneath it. Hold your finger down. Do your staple gun. And again. Okay, so then when I'm done drying, I lay them down. And I actually have a table that has edges. If that makes any sense. It's sort of like... Let's imagine a big one. It has these. So it doesn't lay completely flat. That's another reason why I don't use thumbtacks. Is because it will only lay on these parts. Like one here, 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 and here. And it, it doesn't get all squished. The paint don't fold up against the sides. And I move it around right away. And then it, it won't. As long as I move it, then it's fine. Anyway, I lay it down to dry, and they get wet from the paint. And all I do, because they're wet, is you just give them a twist, like this. And they come right off. So that's how easy, and that's it, staple gun. I think they're pretty cheap at Home Depot or even Walmart, probably cheaper. So we'll get started with this, and I thought I would tell you and show... Um, Cheer Bear 2 was wondering how I did it, and that's it. <laughs> like, I really don't even need it for this, but I'd use them because I'm so used to them now. I feel funny without them. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. I've got my silicone cups here. And I'm using Artist Loft White, Artist Loft Black, Metallic Artist Loft Gold, all those three are flow. And then I'm using Deep Burgundy. Okay, which is a deco art. Deep Burgundy. Alright. I'm going to pause this a minute and fill up my cup with more black. Okay. wonder if I started it or restarted it because I accidentally pushed it twice. I'll show you one of my tiles. I did. I thought it was pretty cool looking. It's like fire. <laughs> I like that. So, I know I won't be able to get it the same way, but I'm sure I'm going to try. And this is just the burgundy and the metallic gold. But... I think I'm going to add a little white to this one see what it does. 
Oh yeah, I'll show you my other one. Whoops. Other. This was hunter green and white and black and burgundy. Isn't that cool? So I need well, a little something a little different for the the, the table. Different colors. I notice I have no hardly no red, and I hardly ever use red. So I need about four ounces. Five. I'm gonna need more white than that. That should be enough. It's probably too much, actually. That's the end of it too, so. Whoopsie. Let's see, I'm about four and a half. Just to play it safe. I can always pour on another tile too with whatever I have left over. Okay. Doesn't that look funny? That was a lot of paint. I didn't even see the red in there. The gold took over. That's crazy. That's weird. That no red popped up. That's really strange. That turned out really weird. Not at all what I was going for. I think I shouldn't have added the white. <laughs> that is so strange. Not at all what I was going for. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I'm going to do this one again. Okay, I'm going to try this again because I'm not liking this. It's too weird. This time I think I'll go from the corner to the corner. It's going to be a lot of black coming out first. Hold on, Tanner, I'm recording. Okay.
Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, not at all what I was going for, though. So that did not turn out as planned, but my son says it's cool. He thinks it's cool, so I'll keep it. <laughs> And I'm sure everybody else, some people like that style. I think it's pretty neat. No offense. It's not what I was going for. I was going for that fiery look. But uh, I'll have to practice on that again. I can't remember how I did it exactly. So this is kind of neat because it does have lots of cool effects on it. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? He's always quiet when the camera's on. Say hi, my name's Tanner. Oh my gosh, he's so shy. <laughs> That's kind of neat though, because you can see the gold shimmer in there. I don't know. It's pretty tripping. Watch out, you're splattering on my painting. Not that it's like. <laughs> It's neat. It's different, that's for sure. It kind of looks cool this way, too. I don't know why I like it that way. Alright, guys. Sorry it took so long on this. I was ready to pour over it again. But I'm going to keep that one. Let me know what you think. I think it's galactic -y weird. But... Not the fire one I was going for. That one's super cool. Okay, guys, take it easy and good night. I will see you probably Monday. Tomorrow I have plans. I'm going to be driving up north to see the snow before it goes away. Um, we don't have snow here in the Valley of Arizona, so we want to see the snow. And it's not that bad up there right now, so it's the perfect time up in Flagstaff. So, y'all have a good Sunday tomorrow, and take care, stay positive, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.